What up, ladies and gentlemen? Welcome to another episode of Diaspora Log, and I'm super excited. Y'all see how fly I look right now? <laughs> you see that? Uh, we're gonna talk about where you can get some gear like this a little bit later. But today I got a special guest. I got my man here, Ralph from Settler Fashions and he gonna talk a lot more about what we're doing here, what they do here, and then we gonna get a lot of game. But yeah, welcome to, to, our, to our platform right here. Thank you very much, thank you for having me. Yeah, 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 cool man. Talk to the people and, and let you introduce yourself and you yeah. know, and all that good stuff. So my name is Ralph Deru. Uh, I'm, I'm part of Settler Fashions, which is a family run business. And it was started with my mom, whose name is Cecilia Deru, and she had the business in 2006. And the whole reason why she started the business was she, at the time, she noticed that a lot of the clothing available for people from ethnic backgrounds was just very, very limited. Or the, or the things that actually were available were not actually very appealing towards the, the ethnic people from ethnic backgrounds. This was particularly evident when she tried to buy clothes even for her own, her own mother, and she realized that, you know what, she actually couldn't find any clothing as a result. That's why when she started this, this business, Zero Fashions, she said that the whole purpose was she's going to actually target. The people from ethnic backgrounds, because there's the type that the market which not wasn't catered for at the time, especially like for example, like the colors that were available, all was very dark, and that's the reason why when we started, we made sure that the the colors were had very vibrant colors, as you can see, one of the, the dresses there, fly, the real fly stuff, right, sort of colors, and that's the, that's something that, that embodies our our business. We always like a lot of color in all the things that we do. We're yeah, like, there's always a lot of color in all the things we that we do. We colorful characters anyway. Yeah, exactly. So. <laughs> you think I'm saying? Hey man, I ain't even gonna lie. This this you know this complex right where they at located in Walsall and Birmingham. It's a fly complex, and I've not even seen nothing like this before. If you recall in the other episodes, we were talking about putting our money together and actually having a complex going on. They got a lot of things. I mean, we downstairs here uh, for Ceruta Fashions, and they have another like room upstairs as well, like a water room upstairs. And what else is going on right here in the building? So at the same time, when we started the this 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 branch here, we started with in, in partnership with Monaco Farm Foods. So they've got downstairs. There's, there's where the farm foods are. So there's the butcher there, and they always get the the food at the maize mill and the Zimbabwean food just in general. Yeah. Then upstairs, there's a salon there by Tete Hazel's. So, yeah. Man, some real fly stuff, yo. This is exactly what we're talking about right here. Putting our money together and you know having our own malls and everything. Other communities have been doing it for a while and we already late in the game so now's the time this is a real fly project that they are doing right here and um you know as you can see for yourself you're gonna see around i mean we're gonna show you some footage of what every you know showing you what everything looked like but back to the clothes man as you can see they got some fly stuff for the ladies they got some fly stuff for you know for the guys as well it's real good and what we wanted to emphasize as well is you know when we get together and when we put ideas together, like you working with your moms, right? Mm -hmm. She started something and then you supporting her. We working for our own. So, you know, you don't have to go punch the clock. But at the same time, you're passionate about it because it's a family business. And, you exactly. you know, yeah. we can tell the fashion. I mean, he arranged everything in the set. You know, he's very passionate about stuff like that. Yeah. So it, it, it shows, you know what I mean? And yeah, that's yeah. something that we really want to plug in. And, we, you know, we want us to get more into doing that. Like really doing some fly stuff and quality business and, you know, and working together, basically. Exactly. You yeah. know what I mean? Yeah, that's definitely something that we always made sure we try to just to empower ourselves, you know. Cause even some uh, even the people that we, we hire we're always trying to hire some of our own people because it helps us to empower people yeah so actually one important important thing like especially for my mom she's she's very passionate about helping out women or empowering women that's yeah. definitely one thing that she's really passionate about so every single time even though she runs a business but she always wants to encourage people to actually get into business like the way that she's also got into business herself because wow. i mean initially when she started i mean she when we came to the uk in 2002 that was a plan that to actually she's going to start the it's gonna start a business, mm -hmm. but as it, as it, as, it, as we all know, when you come into the into the UK, into come to the diaspora, it doesn't that always work out as you plan? So initially, when she came, she had to work just to make ends meet first. So for a year or two, she worked, but then in the back of her mind, she always had this vision that you know what, I still want to start my business. I want to start my business, and that's why she she endeavoured. She works towards that. So I mean, she, after she 
kept on working, she kept on working. She, in the end, she ended up doing a master's, a master's, a, an, an MBA, and master's in business administration. Mm -hmm. And after she did that, that's when she took the, the leap of faith and actually started the business in 2006 in November. Wow. Yeah. That's a whole story right there, man. Yeah. That's that. I don't even know. Sometimes, you know, sometimes, you know, I, I know I'll be doing a lot of talking. Sometimes I just keep quiet and just listen because you just dropped a whole lot of game right there. And I'm going to drop a little bit of game of my own. You know, when we come to fashion, I know a few people know, and I'm not trying to lecture nobody, but, you know, they say the mecca of fashion is Italy, as we know. Yeah. But, you know, if you know about the history of African people like the Moors, you know, that traveled all across Spain, China, and ended up in Italy. It was actually black folk. It was actually our people who were, you know, doing their travels, collecting stuff like fabrics, and it ended up in China. So it's the Moorish people that are over there. You know, one of the things, I mean, if you think about it, you know, we got the alligator shoes very common in Italy, but they ain't got no alligators in Italy, that's true, right? That's true, yeah. That's just a little bit of history, but, you know, not to get too deep, but just <laughs> a little bit of that. So I'm very pleased with what you guys are doing here now. Is there anything you want to tell the people? I mean, give your social handles. We're going to put the links below, but is okay. there anything you want to, you know, you want to talk about before we shut it down? Yeah, so in particular, what we really just want to emphasize is that most of our clothing is, is centered towards clothing for weddings and special occasions, as in particular for mother the bride. So whenever you've got a mother who wants to who has got a child getting married just let them know that you know come to the fashions because definitely that's one thing that we really I really know a lot about because we dealt with a lot of mothers because of that and we've dressed a lot of mothers so if that's the main thing that I would say like if you're looking for an outfit for your mother or if a mother's watching definitely come to the fashions where you can find clothes for, for your child for your children's special occasions but not just not only it's only just limited to that only mm -hmm. also as you can see what's got African clothing where we sell obviously the clothing that's there's this kind of clothing also got some really dressy African clothing as well that you can wear to a uh, function you can wear to church or even to a dinner or something of that sort and then we just like then we've got the men's clothing where we've got like the suits but also we've got like a like the shirt that you saw like uh, if you see when you're wearing there so we've got a, a range of things, even like this place that you're seeing I'm wearing here yeah. from our shop as well. So we've got oh, yeah. a range of things, that, but it's mainly all centered against if you're going to an occasion where you need to look really nice and... We'll fly. Uh, exactly. <laughs> 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 yeah. That's, that's just, uh, yeah, that you said it pro exactly. You look, we only look really yeah, fly. Look, <laughs> we got, hey, we could look fly on our own. Attire, exactly. you know what I mean? Yeah, we, exactly. we can look flying our own attire now. I wanted to ask, like, what, what what's your customer base? I mean, do you get people just from Zimbabwe? You get people from all, you know, parts of Africa? Do you get, like, Jamaicans? You get people from the Caribbean as well? You know, what what's your customer base like? We've got a really wide customer base. That's but dope. the majority of it is from either the Afro or the Caribbean sort of market. Yeah. That's where the majority of them actually are. Right. But we've also got, at the same time, especially like in London, we've got a lot of customers from... The, the Jewish community as well. Right. We also a lot of like customers from the Muslim community as well, uh -huh. and that's the reason why we would almost say just for Zimbabwe people, this for ethnic minorities because the taste, their tastes are very particular. Especially like people from those sort of uh, of, sort of uh, communities, they like this the clothes a certain particular way, that mm -hmm. it's a certain length, yeah. a certain sort of fabric and stuff like that. So that's the reason why we it's quite arranged. But majority of them are from Afro Caribbean, all the, all over Africa, from Zimbabwe, Zambia, Tanzania. Even Nigerians, we've got a lot of Nigerians who come and they, they, they yeah, so <laughs> they, they do go by quite a lot. That's, that's the reason why I ask because I always say when you start off with a passion and then you do your business right, you start engaging the business. You, if you have a quality product, yeah, yeah. you're going to attract people from all walks of life. Yeah, yeah. That's why I wanted to ask that, you know, genuinely. So, you know, so you, there it is. Y'all mean, you just said it. And another thing I wanted to ask so, who makes the clothes? Some of the clothes are actually made in, in Africa, like, especially the African wow. clothes. We get them in Africa from, wow. from what's it called, from Kenya. Some of them come right. from Kenya. Right. Man. And the other things, they just they, we just buy them ready made, just, come ready made, right. just go to different areas around the world. We just Man. Get them. See what I'm talking about? Now, that it's, 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 it's bigger than us, people. It's bigger than us. It's bigger than you. So the next time you want a fly outfit, you know, you got a wedding coming along, you got a graduation coming along, or, you know, you know somebody who's looking for some real fly stuff, you contact these guys because, you know, they're going to hook you, they're gonna hook you up. With the, these the plug right here. You know what I mean? But, um, yeah, I mean, is there anything else? Yeah. Just like the, how you can find us, find out about us. So, I mean, our website is www.sarurafashion. So that's spelled... C E W R U R A then fashions with the S at the end dot co dot UK and there you can find information about where we've got two stores. So we've got one store here in Warsaw and we've got another store in, in London. And at the same time on social media you can find us all on Instagram and also on Facebook and with the same handles as well, Sarura Fashions on, on, on both 
Uh, the handles you can find us on Facebook and Instagram. And that's what's up. And if you didn't catch that, we're going to put all, you know, the description and the link and everything. We're going to put a, um, a link in the description. You know, I just get my words out my luck as usual. But we don't edit anything. We give you the real and the raw right here. Catch you on the next one. All right? Very okay. much. Cool.